a lot of you know about famous entrepreneurs such as Elon Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla. One of its biggest competitors with a less well-known CEO is Peter Rawlinson, who is currently the CTO and CEO of Lucid Motors. Now, some of you may know that luxury electric vehicle startup Lucid Motors went public after a merger with blank check firm CCIV on February 23rd, 2021. What you may be less aware of is the man behind the vision of Lucid Motors, Peter Rawlinson, who is currently the CTO and CEO of Lucid Motors. In today's video, we are going to chat about the man and the vision behind Lucid Motors. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button. Peter Rawlinson was a British engineer that was born in South Wales, where he attended Cowbridge Grammar School and later graduated in engineering from Imperial College London. Peter Rawlinson could not have imagined the path that life could have taken him. He was just a regular guy that was interested in inventing things. He wasn't 100% sure about what path to take, but he got interested in cars at a young age, and he thought a fun thing to do was to design cars for a living. Engineers design cars, but you see, engineers are often misunderstood. The design team designs the stylistic surfaces of the car, but all the parts underneath those surfaces are actually built by engineers. When Peter Rawlinson started out, it was just a hobby, but then it became something much more. After graduating from college, Peter Rawlinson started in the traditional automotive industry, and due to his engineering brilliance, he quickly climbed up the corporate ranks. He was principal engineer at Jaguar Cars, chief engineer at Lotus Cars, and head of vehicle engineering at Chorus Automotive. But one day, Peter Rawlinson got a phone call that would change his life and take him from his home in UK to sunny California. He was home at UK one day enjoying coffee when the phone suddenly rang and it was from none other than famous entrepreneur and CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk. You see, Tesla was just starting out at the time and Elon Musk needed a superstar engineer to build upon the Tesla Model S prototype. Hours and hours of fascinating discussion between the two brilliant minds occurred. You see, initially, Peter was very skeptical of electric cars. He quoted, Throughout 2009, I was thinking, I'm not really convinced of the value proposition, but I listened to what he had to say. Before I joined, I looked at the math and immediately saw that the energy density of a laptop's cylindrical cells would be a game changer. In 15 minutes, I realized that a car like Model S was actually achievable. I'm from South Wales, where the Bristol Channel has the second highest tidal change in the world. That alone could be an incredible source of energy. I can't solve all the world's problems, but as a vehicle engineer, I can do my bit and solve this one jigsaw puzzle. Elon Musk proceeded to give Peter Rawlinson an offer that he could not refuse, and the rest was history. Peter Rawlinson would be the chief engineer of a small team that would design Tesla's first totally new car, the Tesla Model S. He would be responsible for the technical execution and delivery of the Model S, improving the structure and production by taking advantage of the fewer restrictions facilitated by the electric vehicle drivetrain. When he started his work in 2009, he sat down with Musk at the tail end of his first week with Tesla, and he advised the CEO that the Model S needed to be cancelled and redesigned. What? It's really that bad? Elon Musk asked. It really is, Rawlinson responded. Peter Rawlinson's time at Tesla was a huge success and he was one of the key players in the success of the luxury EV car. Because of Rawlinson's expertise and suggestions, the Model S became the electric car that saved electric cars. 
Now, although Peter Ronson left Tesla in 2012 to care for his ailing mother in England, a year later, he was ready to get back into the game. He joined Silicon Valley startup Ativa as CTO in 2013 as it transitioned from a battery supplier to EV maker. A new challenge was presented to him, and he was asked if he would join. And Peter replied, I'll join under two terms. One, I want to design the best electric car imaginable, surpass my last one, the Model S, I want to engineer my baby. The other is that you have to change the damn name. So we did, to Lucent Motors. You see, the company initially started in 2007 with just a battery and an idea. They wanted to contribute to the growth of electrified vehicles and they focused their initial efforts on developing a battery system that could be scaled to work across many vehicle types. The batteries that were built logged millions of miles of real-world driving, and as they expanded their efforts, complete powertrain systems were built. And finally, the most direct route to increasing the number of electric vehicles on the road was to develop their own, and they took that leap of faith, one that took full advantage of the advanced technologies driving dramatic shifts in the mobility experience electrification, automated driving, connectivity, and ride-sharing. Lucent Motors was not without challenges as they almost ran out of cash multiple times. They were near death and desperate for cash in 2018 when it was handed a lifeline. The Desert Kingdom's sovereign wealth fund invested $1.3 billion in the electric car startup, and Lucent regained full health. Things were not always rosy for Lucent Motors. When Lucent Motors first announced pricing for its car, Elon Musk was quick to slate his former employee. On Twitter, Elon Musk quoted, The prototype was done before he joined and he left us in the lurch just as things got tough, which was not cool. He did make some contributions to body slash chassis engineering, but not to powertrain, battery, electronics, or software. Peter Ronson has responded by saying the Model S was a good first shot, but that hatch hurt the rigidity too much. I'm fixing all the mistakes I made with it. Model S was actually styled before I joined Tesla. My task was to retrospectively fit all the bits into it. What I learned is to capitalize on the miniaturization of the electric powertrain requires interaction between design and engineering. This was missed in the Model S. It wasn't designed around the miniaturization of the electric powertrain. It was designed to be a cool looking car. No one knew then what could be achieved by miniaturizing. Today, Peter Ronson holds a dual role as the CEO and CTO of Lucent Motors, which is a 16 minute drive from Tesla factory and Ronson's air is a holistic rethink of the electric automobiles starting point. He quotes, 10 years ago, Tesla was the underdog. The hot money was on Fisker. I was working my guts out on the Model S and slaving away with a very small team of brilliant engineers. I persuaded a lot of them to come and join me. While Tesla was the unheard of underdog, we had the real deal in terms of engineering talent. That was the differentiator. Lucid's first car, the Air, should hit the road in the second half of 2021 and will have a range of up to 517 miles per charge and 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration in just over 2 seconds, which is faster than Tesla's Model S. There is a huge movement happening in the EV industry today. California will phase out sales of new gasoline-powered cars by 2035 as part of its fight against climate change. China has put public policies in place to address the concern of growing carbon emissions and air pollution, to regulate and reduce emissions, which in part comes from traditional vehicles, China has dedicated public policy and fiscal support to grow its electric car market. Peter Rawlinson's mission with Lucent Motors is to take the EV industry into the next level. 
Although his first vehicle, the Airdream Edition, is planned to be priced at $161,500, he quotes, It's absolutely my mission and ambition to make sustainable mobility more widespreadly adopted. It surely will be an exciting time in the next few years as we move towards the beginning of the EV industry era. I hope you enjoyed this video. Our channel focuses on inspirational and motivational stories that touch upon holistic health, meditation, and daily 1% improvement. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe, and you'll be notified anytime we have a new video. Also, if you are interested in the EV industry as a whole, make sure you check out this book, Electric Vehicles and the End of Ice Age. It talks about the automobile industry, which is on the cusp of disruption of massive proportions and is a fascinating read. The link is in the description below. So. Can Peter Rawlinson and Lucid Motors achieve their goals in the electrification of America? Drop a comment below and we'll be sure to address it in our next video. Until then, see you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification to the right.